Hey everybody, this is Limitless Carrageen and we're doing a, a cool retro review and this is from the company Ertl. Uh This is the Bat, Batman Batwing from 1989 my, uh, with Michael Keaton and this is technically a die cast metal plane and, and this actually came out in 1989 and now this is cool. I never actually had this toy. I always saw it in the wild when I was a kid like yard sales or a kid had it all speed up and all scratched up. Fun facts, I'll tell you where I got this in the end of the video, but yeah, I'm very, very, very happy. I decided for, I had this for a while already and I was like debating to open it, but the card itself is really not great shape. It was in better shape. I'll be like, yeah, I'm keeping it in the card, but it's not. So I want to open it and do a review of it. And here's the back guys to show you the other stuff. I just triggered this, the lights. <laughs> Hold on, let me turn it back on. But uh yeah, it shows you the Batmobile, the Joker van, Batwing, uh the Joker van again, and this a combination, but yeah, that's the back part. And this actually so you can cut it and keep it as a card. That's really cool actually. So let's open this baby up. And get a better look. So let's open this baby up and get a better look of it itself. Alright, so let's get a better look at this close up. Man, this thing, when it comes to the scope on this thing, is really nice. It's not bad for a 1989 toy. Uh, it does have a weird residue due to being sealed for that long. <laughs> I think I can clean this off, or it's just like I clean it off, or it could be permanent. It's just that kind of effect when touched too long to cardboard, or it's the pain that reacts with the with the the chemicals and as a result it makes like a weird stain residue but i think i can clean this i'm not 100 percent like if you see my photos later on the end of the video when i show you the photos close up of this thing you and it looks like it's clean because i actually figure out how to clean it um but uh man this thing is so sick the whole body is almost completely die cast the only two part that's not is the shield for the cockpit and then the tires themselves are plastic but the support part is metal this thing is so cool i had one but i i got one i think i traded with my when i was a kid with my friend and it was beat up it was so scratched up this part was missing and i just wanted it because i thought it looked so cool i was always a fan of the original batman uh the batwing and my here it tells you the the company and it's made in china and 19 dc comics 1989 I'm gonna be honest, guys. There's been so many variants of this mold of this toy over the years, and I think nothing beats the classic one. I think Hot Wheels came out with one years ago, and I, I'm be honest, I seen it, and I'm, I'm, I, I don't feel it. I'm not liking this. You know, the only thing that you know, I just I need to find a stand for this because it looks so cool. And then I'm gonna have to make one. I figured it out somehow, and you'll probably see it in the background. But this thing is freaking nice i'm glad i opened it because again i am gonna display it so the only function this thing has is that both back tires open at the same time and then the front by itself it does have that kind of moving a little bit action but not a lot man this thing is so cool that's the only two functions i don't think this part opens up uh there is like a little painted figure it's not the greatest but it's cool that you can see it 
I, I do want to paint this so it'll be more authentic, give a little black look to it. So I'm going to try to paint that. Uh, but man, this thing looks beautiful. I have nothing else to compare it to because like, like I said, I haven't bought the other Hot Wheels one or the other variants out there. There hasn't been that many. I think the only one I think I've seen is a Hot Wheels one. I don't know if they ever made like a miniature version of this one. But I'm glad I have this one. So that's it guys. This is just to show you a just short video about it. Alright, so let's talk about the good and about this toy. I'll be honest, for a 1989 toy, I have no negativity about this. I always like this. Um, such a nice, nice capture of the 1989 Michael Keaton Batman. Um, but yeah, man, I, like I said, I have no negativity against it. It's nice, it has die cast, it's detail. It's not 100% accurate, but man, it's still pretty dead on close enough. And I do love the cool logo Batman the side. Even technically that's not authentic, but I like it. Just a little touch. So let's talk about where I got it and how much I got it for. So I got this a couple years ago. I got this. They were having a sale of a collector, George Barris. He's a guy who created the 1960s live action retro show, Batman. Uh, he's known for doing a lot of cool stuff. Uh, I think uh, the Monsters vehicle. He's out. He's known out there. Well, he's also done, so he's he's a huge collector of Batman and also movie, movie, ability, uh, movie, pop culture movie stuff. He collects, he's a huge collector. Well, his collection got big over time. He's done these yard sales on his famous garage where he builds the cars. Um, so he's done it maybe like a couple of times. And sadly, after he passed away, like a year or two, a couple of years later, his family decided to do his final collection sale. They kept the, the most deepest personal stuff of his. The other stuff they decided to do it as a final goodbye and a good sale, you know, like a you know like a yard sale at the store. It also gave you a chance to go inside, and I got lucky to go inside. And the funny thing about that is, actually, do you know it was happening? I was just because I'm not that far where his place used to be, his uh his uh well he's a you know fixed cars and all that. It's not that far where I live, so um I was passing by and I saw this huge lion and uh. I found out about it. I'm like, oh, dude, I'm going to wait in line. And the sale was for like a couple of days. I think it was like from Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I went Saturday morning and I stood in line early in the morning. I um, I got a bunch of cool stuff. I got an original Batman Return uh, poster with uh, the with uh, Penguin and Michelle Pfeiffer's Catwoman and Batman. It looks so cool. I got a bunch of stuff. There's actually videos of that day event. And it's funny. You do see me briefly <laughs> for a second or two, one of the videos. I think someone filmed just looking around, but man, he has he has such cool collection. And the, when I saw this, I was so happy because I always wanted one, you know, brand new sealed, and I got this. So I, and I I think uh, if I'm mistaken, I think I paid fifteen for it, and that's not a bad deal. It was still a little pricey for me, but I'm like, I want this. It's sealed, you know. It's a little beat up. It's sealed. Uh, at the time, I think there's more than a dozen, not like maybe three or four he had there. And uh, when I got there, it was only like one left, so I got it. Um, so it does retail for about 19 to 20 to 30 dollars mint in card I seen it go for four years 60 uh, I wish to find one mint in card I would definitely get it just to have it hanging in the wall because it looks really cool hanging in the wall this one was like beat up um, but yeah so that's where I got it if you guys want to know where I got it like again he has these garage sales and the final one that his family did after he passed away a couple years and that's the one I went to so if you guys can get it for a good deal, uh, to me, I know everyone's like has their own opinion. I think this is the best ever captured version of the Batwing from the 1989 Batman. I think this is so cool. It's die cast is heavy, it's beautiful, and I definitely want to display it. I'm going to find a way to make a small stand so it can be kind of like he's flying. Especially because I just don't have enough space in the back. But yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this. This is Limits here at DNA. Like I said, anywhere to Help the channel out, give a thumbs up, share, comment, anywhere to help the channel out. And I'm going to say adios and uh, keep on collecting. Bye.